Yeah, I mean, the thing is that you get all these sort of exciting things about, oh, there's this mutation and this mutation, and we're going to target this and this. So I think what happens is that you get the idea that cancer is caused by these genetic mutations. And it's a genetic disease and it's just bad luck. And, and that feeds in, but it's actually completely untrue because when you step back and you say, okay, well, what causes cancer? And they've, they've done studies on this. What is the biggest uh, attributable population attributable risk to cancer? And smoking's up there around 30%. But what everybody forgets is that way, way up there, as Tom, you're saying, diet and obesity is also about 30%. And it completely dwarfs everything like, you know, radon and, you know, chemicals and chemical carcinogens and stuff, right? It's, it's a huge, huge risk factor. And that's all environmental, um, not genetic, right? So you have to look at the environment. And then you look at, we're getting young people getting tons of cancer. And if it was a genetic disease, you'd say, you know, the genetic uh, makeup of the population has not changed in the last 10 years, um, other than through immigration, right? But it, that's not what we're talking about. So what is it that has changed? And of course, diets have changed, obesity has changed, and the entire thing. So, so I think what has happened is because of the advances in the genetic, you know, technologies and the treatment, you get this idea that it's ninety percent genes and ten percent, but it's not. It's like you know, eighty percent environmental. A lot has to do with your diet and, and, and weight. And, and we know this because the World Health Organization has like 13 different cancers that are obesity associated. Uh, one of them, for example, is colorectal. And now you see this shift. Younger people are getting colorectal cancers and bad ones too. Well, why? Well, not so hard to understand. If obesity is a related factor, then there's more obesity. So therefore, you're getting more. You're getting more obesity younger, right? Kids are getting obese in their teens now. So therefore, you're getting more, just like you have more type 2 diabetes uh, in young people now. Same thing, right? Pediatric clinics used to be 90% uh, type 1 and 10% type 2. Now it's like a 50-50 type 1 and type 2, right? You get like 15-year-olds with type 2 diabetes. So so this whole thing is, it, it does require this whole shift in thinking that, hey, this is not just a genetic disease. That's not to say that genes have nothing to do with it because and it's not to it's not to say that these targeted therapies aren't good because they are good. Obviously, they spend a lot of money on it. But you have to, when you're thinking about how these things develop, you have to think about what is important. So one of the things, obviously, is glucose and insulin. And, and it's like you look at breast cancer and it's been known for like 50 years, okay? <laughs> at least that breast tissue doesn't really have a lot of insulin receptors. Why would it, right? It doesn't need it. But breast cancer has like piles of insulin receptors. Well, why? Well, because if it has lots of insulin receptors, then you get and you have lots of insulin, then you can open up the GLUT4, you know, channel, pour in the glucose into this into this cancerous cell, and it can grow because we know again that it uses glucose to grow. I mean, Warburg talked about that ages ago. So it's like, okay, well, if that's important then limiting glucose and limiting insulin is important in the development of colorectal and breast cancer, which, which, which for some reason just gets lost in this whole, it's all about genes, it's all about genes, it's all about genes. So we get so blindsided into this one sort of, you know, view that we forget about everything else that's gone on. And even when you look at what causes cancer, like genetic factors, um, you know, and they've, they've done a big study, uh, on this, it's still a relatively small factor in um, in in causation of cancer. It's 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 like five to ten percent versus thirty for diet.